so just to make a live example and, and give you an idea of exactly, you know, where I would get my entry and exit criteria, I'm just going to go over a trade. Please pay no attention to the actual trade itself. Everybody's strategy is different. And um, I assume you have your own entry and exit points. But in this one, I'm just going to go over a trade where I had an entry point above this little tiny pivot point over here with a stop loss at this pivot point. So why is it important to have predefined entry and exit? Well, this lets us know how much we're going to risk in terms of price per trade and how many stocks we can actually buy. So in this specific stock, I had an entry up here and an exit down there. So the difference between these two is the actual dollar risk that I will take per trade. So once I have this data, I will extract it and put it back into my trading journal. So once we have this data, I'm just going straight back into the journal. And what do I want to do? So this is my my first trade, hypothetically, the ticker symbol. So this can be either, you know, the stock or the Forex or the contract, whatever you're buying. In this case, it's MWK. And do I want to go long or short? So am I buying or am I shorting the stock? In this case, uh, definitely buying. In fact, I seldom short one once bitten and uh, twice shy. In this case, my entry price would be 10.88 and my stop price would be 9.03. And so you can see, um, luckily enough, my trading journal and the one that will be shared with you starts populating automatically what the initial risk is, which is just the difference between, you know, the stop and the entry. And then this will give us our risk one, two, three. Now, what does this actually mean? Well, this is the amount of risk and reward that we anticipate uh, or where we anticipate to sell the stock if it goes well. So, you know, my, my first risk would be 12.73, which would be, you know, one to one ratio of what I put in is what I expect to to get out. So I'm just going to go straight back to a chart to show you exactly what this means. So just to quickly go over what this whole risk uh, ratio is about, it's really important. And this kind of determines your, you know, your actual system and, and how good or, or bad it is, because you can have um, a system that wins a lot, essentially. But if you have a really big loss, it can undermine the entire system. You can also have a system where you only win, say, one in 10 trades. But the one trade that you do win is like 5,000%. So it makes up for all those losses. And this is down to the individual again, but it's really important to kind of frame what that looks like on a chart and how to put it into your trading journal. So in this case, and if I'm going too quick, please just leave comments uh, down below. I'm, I'm happy to go over these. Um, I know that they're probably simple to me in hindsight, but they might be a bit tricky for, for others. So, you know, in this case, we had the 9.03 stop loss. So if the trade goes very poorly, I'm leaving over here. Um, but if it starts going well, you know, my, my personal rule is I will never take a profit until it is at least around uh, the three to one risk reward ratio. And the, the reason why is because that means if I'm wrong, over half of the time, which is certainly close to the, the reality, that means I can still make money because of my risk to reward ratio. And I'll go into this in further detail. But it's super important that you have a predetermined risk and reward ratio. And this gives you, you know, an idea of when to buy and sell. And your trading journal bakes this into, you know, your decision making process. And that's exactly why the trading journal is so important. So just to kind of uh, go over this type of stock, um, you know, some stocks you can get a risk to reward ratio that goes even higher, you know, to 15 or 20 times and you can move your stop loss. And this is really what you want, um, but not all of them do that. So there has to be some way of measuring this and, and being realistic about it. We would be very grateful if you liked and subscribed to our content. Only if you enjoyed, of course, because it helps us get recognized on YouTube and other social media and Internet outlets. Um, of course, if you don't like it, then don't like it or subscribe to it. But we sincerely hope that uh, we can build this community going forward and we'd like to have you aboard and, and part of this whole experience. 
Thanks for choosing us and thanks for watching our stuff and hope to see you in our next couple of videos.